trillion dollar monster, dissecting the astronomical costs of the F-35 fighter jet. One fighter jet, just one of them, costs over a hundred million dollars, and the entire program is projected to cost over 1.7 trillion dollars, and according to newer estimates, close to two trillion dollars. Yes, you heard that right, 2,000 billion dollars. This is not an estimated figure or a media exaggeration, but the official estimate of U.S. government oversight bodies. This figure is so astronomical that the total cost of the Apollo space program, which took humans to the moon, pales in comparison. But how can a military project, a single fighter jet model, turn into such a massive financial black hole? Is this money being spent wisely, and are we witnessing the most advanced war machine in history? Or is the world observing the largest and most expensive investment mistake in military history? The story of the F-35 Lightning II, a product of Lockheed Martin, is not just a technical story. It is a complex narrative of ambition, politics, bureaucracy, and technology intertwined. The Dream of One Fighter for All, The Original Sin To understand this exorbitant cost, we must go back to the end of the Cold War. The Pentagon was faced with a grand and seemingly clever idea. Instead of designing and building separate fighter jets for each military branch, Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps, why not build a single flexible platform that could meet the needs of all three? This idea of a joint strike fighter was born. The goal was to reduce research, production, and maintenance costs through a shared design. But this sweet dream became the project's Achilles heel. The problem was that the needs of these three forces were sharply contradictory. F-35A for the Air Force, a conventional fighter with the ability to take off and land on standard runways. F-35C for the Navy, with a reinforced fuselage, larger wings, and a robust landing gear to withstand the severe impacts of landing on aircraft carriers. F-35B for the Marine Corps, the most ambitious and complex model, requiring short takeoff and vertical landing capability. Trying to incorporate these three contradictory capabilities into one chassis is like trying to combine a Formula One race car, a cargo truck, and a hovercraft into one vehicle. This engineering complexity, especially in the vertical landing F-35B model, was a nightmare. Designing an engine that could rotate 90 degrees downward, along with a massive lift fan in the front of the fuselage to maintain balance, imposed unimaginable weight, heat, and aerodynamic complexities on the project. Every change to satisfy one branch led to cascading changes in the design of the other two models. This design compromise from the outset put the project on a path of exponentially increasing costs. Digital Soul in the Machine – The Software Nightmare the F-35 is not a fighter jet that has a computer. Rather, it is a flying supercomputer with wings and an engine attached. With over 8 million lines of software code, this aircraft has one of the most complex software systems in the world, more complex than a Boeing 787, and four times that of another U.S. fifth-generation fighter jet, the F-22 Raptor. This operating system, called Integrity DO-178B, is the aircraft's brain and performs vital functions. Sensor fusion, collecting data from radar, infrared cameras, and electronic warfare systems, and providing a unified 360-degree view of the battlefield to the pilot. Electronic warfare, identifying, tracking, and countering enemy threats. Weapons control and navigation. Networked communications, sharing information with other aircraft, ships, and ground forces. But the development of this digital soul turned into a quagmire. In the early years, the software was riddled with bugs and glitches. Reports indicated that the radar was not working properly, weapon systems were not synchronized with the software, and even the pilot's $600,000 helmet, which was supposed to display information on its visor, suffered from delays and jitter. In 2014, a report revealed that the software was so poor that the fighter could not even accurately fire at night. The process of fixing these bugs and rewriting millions of lines of code took years and added billions of dollars to the project. Poor management and endless delays when time is gold. The F-35 project officially began in 2001, and the first squadron was supposed to be operational in 2008, 
but this did not happen until 2015, seven years later than scheduled. These delays were devastating. Every day of delay meant paying thousands of engineers, workers, and managers, as well as the costs of maintaining massive industrial infrastructure without producing a single product. This is like starting to build a 100-story building while engineers are still testing the strength of its foundation. Furthermore, the F-35 is not just a military project. It is an industrial political giant. Its parts are manufactured by hundreds of companies across the United States and several allied countries. This extensive network creates a powerful political leverage. Any attempt to cut the budget or cancel the project faces strong resistance from congressional representatives concerned about job losses in their constituencies. This phenomenon, known as political engineering, has made the F-35 project too big to fail, ensuring its funding even in the face of severe problems. The iceberg. The real cost is in maintenance. Perhaps the most shocking part of the story is that the cost of purchasing and building these fighters is only a small fraction of the program's total cost. Of the nearly $2 trillion total cost, over $1.6 trillion is related to maintenance, repairs, upgrades, and operationalizing this fleet until 2088. Each hour of flight for an F-35A costs over $42,000. This figure for older fighters, like the F-16, is around $25,000. This exorbitant cost has several reasons. Steel coating, the sensitive and expensive coating of the fuselage that hides the F-35 from radars, requires meticulous maintenance and continuous repairs in special hangars. Expensive spare parts. F-35 parts are proprietary and are only produced by Lockheed Martin-approved suppliers. Software. Those 8 million lines of code require continuous updates, security patches, and upgrades for the next 50 years. Training. Pilots and technicians require long and expensive training using multi-million dollar simulators. Is this expensive monster worth it? Despite all these criticisms, no one denies the F-35's extraordinary capabilities. Its stealth capabilities, advanced sensors that give the pilot a god's eye view of the battlefield, and its ability to act as a quarterback in the sky, distributing information among all forces, have made it an unrivaled combat platform. Supporters of the project believe that comparing its cost to fourth-generation fighters is a mistake, as the F-35 is designed to counter threats that older fighters have no chance against. However, the fundamental question remains, are these capabilities really worth $2 trillion? Or can similar results be achieved at a lower cost with a combination of cheaper fighters and advanced drones? The F-35 is not a fighter jet. It is a symbol. A symbol of boundless technological ambition, bureaucratic complexities, and industrial lobbying. This project is a major cautionary tale in the management of large-scale projects, and at the same time, perhaps the key to survival in future wars. The final judgment on whether the F-35 was a strategic victory or a financial failure is still too early, and history will determine it in the decades to come.